Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Gabrielle's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making Mahi Mahi Tacos. So what inspired this dish was basically things I already had in the pantry and fridge. I had some Mahi Mahi, cilantro, tomatoes, and pretty much everything. The only thing I had to get was corn and chips. So some days, you know, you're not sure what to make and you have a bunch of random stuff. So today's one of those days. I'm just putting a lot of stuff together. So let's get to it. Let's make some Mahi Mahi Tacos. We're gonna start off by adding all the seasonings together for our mahi-mahi. We have some garlic powder. Then you wanna add some onion powder. Grab you some paprika. This is gonna give the nice color as well as some cayenne pepper. After that, you can move on to cumin, salt, and some pepper. To top that off, we're gonna add brown sugar and you wanna go ahead and mix all those things up. Okay, okay. If you don't have one of these, don't be discouraged. You can use a bowl and spoon, does the same thing. After you mix it all together, you're gonna sprinkle on top of the mahi-mahi. Then you wanna go ahead and just kinda move it around, making sure that everything is nice and coated. It's gonna create a paste. So you wanna be sure to dab it down to make sure that it sticks to the fish. Flip it over and you repeat the process. Sprinkle, sprinkle, dab, dab. Making sure you're generous with all your seasonings. Rub that thing on there. We're using our hands today, it's getting real dirty, but it's all worth it. Make sure you wash your hands, especially if you're cooking for people, don't be dirty. Then move it to the side, let it sit there for like 15 minutes. We're moving on to our guac. I have four avocados today. I'm cooking for about four people. Some people are coming over. So I take the seed out and you wanna go ahead and score it. So you're gonna slice it vertically and horizontally. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create cubes that's gonna be so much easier to scoop it out with the spoon once we're ready. Moving on to the next avocado, doing the same thing and look at how nice they're just falling out and it's gonna make it so much easier when it's time to smash it all together. After you add all your avocados, you wanna go ahead and grab yourself a red onion. Now this is my go-to when it comes to my guac. It gives it so much depth. It adds a crunchiness to your guac so it's great on texture and it brings a nice balance of freshness. It's just so good. So I like to remove the first layer. After you remove that layer, you're gonna slice down, not cutting all the way down, but just right to where you get to the end. And then you're gonna cut three slices, one in the top, one in the middle, one in the bottom. So that when you cut all the way down, they're just gonna magically fall. Already diced and perfect. Now, if you miss some larger pieces, you wanna go ahead and just make sure you're getting it so everything is cohesive, there's not bigger parts. You want it all to be diced the same. Add that to the guac, add some minced garlic. The girl loves me some minced garlic. I think I've used it in everything so far. It's just my go-to. Then you wanna put some salt on there. It's all to taste, so as little as or as much as you want. Some pepper. Then we're gonna grab a lime, cut down the middle, and then we're gonna go ahead and squeeze that juice. This is like my signature at this point. I love lime. Hey, look at that juice. Then we're gonna take some, what's this called? Cilantro, how'd I forget? Then you wanna roll it all up. This helps like when you're cutting it, it's not all over the place, it's all together. You wanna go ahead and gather all your cilantro and just throw that thing in there, okay? 
so good. Now, if you love you some heat, get yourself a jalapeno. You wanna dice it up. We're gonna cut it this way first, then we're gonna dice that thing up. And it's gonna give some more crunchiness and just that heat we're looking for. And you just pop that in there. Mm. I told you we're getting our hands in our food today. It's so much fun. Oh, yummy. Then you wanna taste it. See if you're missing anything. And yeah, I can use a little bit more lime. So I'm gonna squeeze some juice, mix it in there, get a little taste. Yes, that is what we were missing. Now we're gonna grab our corn. Put some butter on your corn under an aluminum. After that, you're gonna add some peppers, some salt, and you're just gonna roll it up. And we're repeating the process. Again, I have four, um, so do the same thing. Put some salt, some butter, some pepper, and roll that thing up. Mm. And you wanna just make sure everything's nice and coated. And look how good that looks. Cooking is fun, guys. Now to our crema. We're gonna put some sour cream. You can get yourself a blender. This is like a little mini one because it's perfect for like sauce. Some mayo, a spoon of guac. This is my like secret. Then some um, lime zest. Squeeze that lime juice in there. And then you wanna go ahead and just close it up. And we're ready to blend this. You wanna blend it, make sure it's nice and smooth. And remember, it's crema, so you want a good consistency. That's perfect, literally perfect. Take it out. Now we're adding our corn to the grill. So if you don't have a grill, no worries. Put it on the stove um, or just you know put it in the oven. It's all good. But this is gonna give us that nice char, that smokiness, just that authentic taste. Now add some olive oil to your pan. We're gonna start cooking our mahi-mahi. Add that bad boy on top. We have it on a medium heat. And we're just gonna let it get nice and seared on both sides. And you're gonna notice that when we flip, it's gonna look a little darker. Don't worry, you did not burn it. It's just the sugar cooks really fast and it creates kind of like that caramelization. But no worries, we just you have to cook it all the way through. So it's gonna be two and a half minutes on each side. I'm gonna flip that over. And guys, I wish you could smell this. Mm, so good. It's ready to come out. We're gonna let it rest, just let it sit there. And we'll move on to the next thing. But can we just take a second? to just marvel at this mahi mahi. <laughs> so good. Now, we're gonna take our corn out of our aluminum. Look how good and smoky that is. Mm, it looks so luscious. Take it out, but we are not done. We're not stopping there. We're taking it a step further, people. Put it back on the grill, and you're gonna let it get more caramelized and just more good. Like, we want it to be a little burnt. Like, it's, it's good that way, I promise you. Then we're taking some flour tortilla. I lied, not flour, but just as good. This is white corn tortillas and it gives it so much authenticity to our dish. We're gonna go ahead and chop some tomatoes. This is what we're gonna use to garnish. So it's about that time we're getting ready to plate. After you cut your tomatoes, get some jalapenos and then you wanna cut your corn guys because the corn is done by the way. It's all ready to go. Once it looks like that, pop it out. We're cutting it down, and this looks so good, guys. And put it off to the side, because we're gonna use this as well for our tacos. So beautiful. You wanna get yourself the tortillas. You wanna cut your mahi-mahi. We're about to use that in a second, but first, put that crema down the center, add the mahi-mahi slices. I would say two per taco. You don't wanna overpack it. It's good to like get a good bite and then like a little falls out. Like that's just always the best. Look at guys, it's not burnt. You see, look how good it looks. Then we're gonna sprinkle some cabbage. This is red and I'm sorry, purple and green cabbage as well as some carrots. Then we're gonna add our tomatoes. Then we're gonna take that corn and we're gonna sprinkle it on there. 
mm, that sweet corn is just gonna hit so different now we're gonna get some mexican cheese blend cheese sprinkle it in there then after that get yourself a spoon and you want to get some guac add the jalapenos if you're like me and you're crazy about your heat some freshness with that lime juice some cilantro to top it off some tapatio hot sauce there's none better when we're talking about mexican food and guys there you have it so many of you have been wondering how i make my guac i've been making it for ages now and that is my recipe it's so good you could have used regular corn in a can but no guys we elevated this we pushed it further we did the whole thing we went all out and it paid off look how beautiful this looks so 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 good it was super easy very yummy and you got yourself a home meal thank you guys so much for watching another episode of gabrielle's kitchen if you haven't already be sure to like comment and subscribe uh let's try this i'm excited Ooh. here it goes This is bomb.